Thank you. <laughs> it must be my sparkle. <laughs> We're all familiar with fairy tales. Damsel in distress, Prince Charming saves the day, and they live happily ever after. Well, I have a similar, similar tale. I grew up in Michigan in a middle-class family, a place where people aspire to marry their high school sweethearts. Well, I didn't have a high school sweetheart, so what's a girl to do? I hopped on a bus to New York City, and I was determined to be successful. Maybe find a sweetheart along the way, definitely get some education. So at 19 years old, I got here, and I put myself through college, and started a career in advertising, and I had my son at 22 years old. I knew it would be very difficult to raise a son on my own, but I was up for the challenge. I mean, I'm sure I can handle it. Well, my advertising salary wasn't cutting it for the two of us to live off of, so I had to get a second job. But as any overwhelmed New Yorker knows, where do you find time to get a second job? So, I became a stripper. And it's not that bad. Go ahead and judge. It really wasn't that bad. And it went really well for a year. But the problem with being in that environment is you get a little greedy because there's so much money flowing all around you. You want material things, very expensive things. So one day, my Prince Charming walked in. And I knew he was my Prince Charming because he was wearing head to toe Armani. He was name dropping. He was flashing cash. He was talking about his private jets, his real estate, his cars, his fancy vacation. And best of all, he was talking about all the things he would buy for me. So we got married. A few, you know, a little bit down the road, not that night. I like to move fast, but. And for three years, I had everything I wanted. He never said no to me. I had furs, diamonds, cars, clothes, shoes, everything. Well, I even had a condo, and it was gorgeous. It was a palace fit for a princess. Three floors, 6,000 square feet on the Upper East Side. We had a private pool and a private theater in our apartment. It was amazing. So one day, one morning, 2010, I'm making a bagel for my son, getting him ready for school in the morning. And I'm standing in our fabulous kitchen, putting cream cheese on a fabulous bagel. And I hear pounding at the door, really loud pounding. And it was the feds. And they were going to kick that shit down. <laughs> and I'm standing there like, clearly they have the wrong apartment, because my Prince Charming is charming. He couldn't do anything wrong. He was charitable. He was a great guy. And I didn't do anything wrong. And my son didn't do anything wrong. So let me go to the door and clear this up. So I went to the door, let them in. They cuffed my husband. They took him away. And that day, my fairy tale ended. I lost everything. My funds were frozen by the SEC for years. I was humiliated in the press. They blamed me. And what people don't know is I was reading the newspapers along with everyone else because I had to find out what happened. I had to find out what this guy did because I had no clue. And I lived with this guy. I faced so many lawsuits I couldn't even keep track of them. I had no job and I got kicked out of the condo. So I was forced to rebuild my life. And there, I saw two roads that I could go down. One, find another Prince Charming, because there's lots of them out there. Or two, maybe try to be self-sufficient and strong and do something for myself. And the Prince Charming thing didn't really turn out great the first time, so I went the second route, and it worked. And this path is a hell of a lot better than the Prince Charming path. I was able to find my strength, and I was able to rebuild. I faced responsibilities. I dealt with the aftermath. I did a ton of soul searching. I tried to find out who I was, who I wanted to be, and most importantly, what type of example I could set for my son. I became so good at rebuilding that that's now what I do for a living. I help other people at a crossroads 
find their strength, and find the path that's best for them. Thank you.